Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is my February book haul, which is absurd. There's no other way to put it. It's absurd. <clears throat> February is my birthday month and I have historically shown talent in justifying basically any frivolous purchase during the entire month as being a birthday gift to myself. And this year was definitely no exception to this. I ended up getting 28 bookish gifts to myself. Yeah. I also got two books as gifts from not me, and one book, which I'm not exactly sure how to categorize, but I will get to that in due time. So that brings my grand total of books acquired in the last month to 31. <laughs> So let's start with the books that I bought myself. Most of these are books that I've already read and I've just been wanting to get a physical copy for a while because I either have them on Kindle or I read them from the libraries. So I just use my birthday as an excuse to stock up on a few of my favorites. The bulk of these definitely comes from the Mary Russell series. I have all the books on Kindle, of course, and I have three of them in physical copy. And I swear on a case-by-case -case basis, it makes sense why I have these but looking at my bookshelf it seems super random because I have the first book, the fifth book, and the thirteenth book. They're all in totally different cover styles, two are hardback, one is paperback, and this, there's just no coherency at all. I started the series out of sequence originally, so the fifth book is actually the first book that I ever read of Mary Russell. So I still have my old mass market paperback of the fifth book, which I read years ago. Then last year was when the 13th book came out and Moriarty King actually came through town for a book signing. By the day of the signing, I had already bought and read a Kindle copy of the book, so I just sort of on impulse grabbed one of the books they had on display at the signing so I could actually have something to bring up and have Lori sign. So that's why I have the 13th book. Then the first book I have a copy of because Lori R. King had a contest asking readers to send in some sort of creative expression or representation of how Mary Russell impacted your life. So I sent in a picture of my tattoos, and I didn't get first place, but I did end up getting a runner-up, and my prize was a lovely hardback edition of the first book. It's autographed and has a little message from Lori inside, so that was definitely very exciting, and I really love that copy. But like I said, on the shelf, they don't make much sense. So I've been wanting to get copies of the books for quite a while, and I finally decided that I was going to do it. I got all but the first book in paperback, and I got them in the UK editions because I just like those covers better. I decided not to get the first book, partly because Book Depository for some reason didn't have that one in stock, but also, like I said, I really like the copy that I got from the contest, and for some reason it doesn't seem quite so out of place to have just the first book different, so I'm okay with it. So yeah, you can see the pile of books, and I've actually shown off my copy of O Jerusalem in a couple of recent videos, but as another example, here is Dreaming Spies, which is the 13th book, so see, it's just very pretty. The next big chunk that I got was to get physical copies of the Night Runner series and the Tamir Triad, both by Len Flewellyn. For both series, I had physical copies of just the first book. So I got the last two books in the Tamir Triad, as well as the last six books, plus one collection of short stories for the Night Runner series. And they're all just mass market paperback sort of style books, but um, that was the only option, so I'm okay with it. And so yeah, I'm very excited to have a physical representation of those on my shelves. The last two books I got myself, which I'd already read and just wanted physical copies of, were the first two books in the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss, which includes The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Spear. I again got the UK editions just because I thought that they were prettier, and I'm quite pleased to have them on my shelf as well. Then the last five books that I got for myself are books that were new for me, and two of them were books that were on my February TBR list. The first of these is Morning Star by Pierce Brown, which I have now already read and loved it. So good. I got this one on Kindle, though I do plan on eventually getting a physical copy. I'm just waiting for the paperback versions to come out. You can kind of see up here I have the first two of the series, but they're in paperback, so I clearly have to wait for the paperback so they will all match. 
It's important. The other book from my TBR list is Tail Chaser's Song by Tad Williams, which I am currently reading and quite enjoying. Then there are two books that I bought from a local bookstore where I volunteer now and then, and the first of these is Octavius Brood, which is an anthology of science fiction stories from social justice movements. So uh, it definitely sounded up my alley, and I was very excited to check this out. I also believe it's named after Octavia Butler, who I also quite enjoy, so I'm very excited to get to this one eventually. The second book I got at the bookstore is The White Queen by Philippa Gregory, and this one I'm actually very excited about because I got it for 80 cents. It was on sale for a dollar, and I get a bit of a discount for being a volunteer, and so yeah, 80 cents. Good deal. I've read the other Boleyn Girl, which Philippa Gregory also wrote, and I enjoyed that one, so I thought that I would give this one a try, and it's a historical fiction slash romance sort of book, and Every once in a while, I get quite in the mood for those, so this should be good. Then the last book that I got for myself, I don't know if I can really even say got for myself because it was free, but it's a Kindle book called Level Up, which is described as a geeky rom-com. And it's a quick book, only about 150 pages. It sounds really interesting, but I heard about it in a video by Reading Rainbow Hair, who you all should check out if you have not already, and I will put a link to her channel below. But she mentioned this book and the Kindle sale that was going on, so I went and checked it out, and indeed it was still going on, so I picked it up and I'm looking forward to reading that one maybe next month. All right, now down to the final three books. The first of these is the one that I wasn't sure quite how to categorize, and that is House of Leaves. And the reason I didn't know how to categorize this one is because I didn't buy it and it wasn't a gift, but I had been wanting to read this book forever. And I was randomly discussing it with my partner when they mentioned that it was actually on the bookshelves downstairs. So I just had not realized this, and so yeah, that was a very exciting moment. So I have officially kidnapped this book and brought it up to the bookshelves in my office. So I'm looking forward to reading this one sometime soon. And we are finally down to the last two books in my book haul, and these were the two books that were given to me as gifts. The first of which is The Source by J.D. Horn, which is the second book in his Witching Savannah series. And this was given to me by my Aunt Patty, who actually also sent me um, a Kindle copy of the first book in the series a few months ago. I read it and I ended up really enjoying it, so I am looking forward to reading the second book now and seeing how the story progresses. Then the final book in my book haul was a gift from my partner, who knows me quite well. And they got me a gorgeous copy of A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, which I read a couple years ago and I really enjoyed, but I read it on Kindle so I didn't have a physical copy of it. And this copy that I got was actually made by the Folio Society, who I had also never heard of, but they make amazingly gorgeous books. So it came in this nice um, protective sleeve thing. And you see the back, it's just got this little stripey. And then the front, yeah. And the scar on his face is actually kind of indented. I don't know if you can see that much, kind of, if I do that. So yeah, this is a gorgeous cover, but it doesn't stop there. No, my friends, because this book is actually illustrated. Yeah. There are pictures all throughout the books, and I love the style of these illustrations. Here's another example. All the books that are published by the Folio Society have illustrations, and they all have sort of a different style to them. So this one is definitely to my taste. I love it, and I am very excited. I'm going to do a reread of this book next month so I can read this copy and see all the pictures, and yes, love it. So yeah, that is my ridiculously absurd February book haul. I definitely have a few more books now than I have room for up here. These shelves that I've been using are actually just part of a big craft cabinet thing that we have, but I'm actually planning on getting a legit bookcase up here soon and I'm in the process of creating a little reading nook thing, so, so I will have more room for all of these books in the near future. Hopefully. So yeah, as usual, I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned, if you have thoughts on them, let me know. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more. I hope everybody's week is getting off to a good start, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!